All right, and we type a little message, something like, here you go, Tim, the video of the transcription will be out Wednesday. <laughs> and post. <laughs> Hey folks, how are you doing this morning? So I thought we'd get in another transcribing video and as luck would have it, I was scrolling through Facebook this morning and I came across this post from Tim Blackburn. Looks like he's looking for a tab for Tony Rice on and on. First break Tony plays after the triplet thing. The triplet thing is of course a reference to the kickoff that Jerry Douglas plays, the wild like Anyway, the reason I found this post though was because of Shane down here. Shout out to my boy Shane. This sounds like a job for Marcel I Dance. You got it. Let's do it. So, thanks Shane. Hello Tim. We're going to transcribe this thing and see what we come up with. But before we do that, I do want to remind you that a bunch of new merch just dropped, like this Fiddle Tune t-shirt. Look at how cool that is. Oh, it smells good too. Oh. Anyway, you can find that shirt and a bunch of other cool shirts at the Lessons with Marcel merch store. And if you want the tab that we're going to finish by the end of this video, you can check out the tab store, or it should be up there for you to download for free. And with all that talking out of the way, let's go ahead and let's take a listen to this break. And I wonder if she ever thinks of me. Yeah, that's very doable. So I hear a bunch of kind of standard uh, Tony Rice phrases. Sound like he kicked off the break with an enclosure. I think he circled the third of the G chord. And then I heard some, some really classic phrases. For instance, over the C chord, he did something like this. Um, I heard this phrase. And I also heard this. I bet he did that over the five chord. When he went up the neck and then came back down, it sounded like he did one of these. I heard this a couple times. I also heard this phrase. Right, something like that. So I bet we can transcribe this pretty quick. A lot of these phrases are things that I've heard before, so hopefully this won't be too difficult. <laughs> and here we are, ready to transcribe. A lot of people always ask me when I uh, when I post these transcribing videos, uh, what transcription software are you using? And I'll tell you right now, I am using Guitar Pro 7, and what's even cooler is that I recently became an affiliate for Guitar Pro 7. So if you would like to get into transcribing, write out your tabs just like I do, you can actually use the affiliate link in the description below. And if you go there and you purchase Guitar Pro 7, it actually helps my channel, it helps me make more videos like this one. I'd very much appreciate it if you would check that out. And I wonder if she ever thinks of me. This is all going very fast. Doing my best to hear it, but you know, I'm I'm no superhuman myself. I do my best to hear it when I can. Let's listen to this one more time and then I might slow it down. I wonder if she ever thinks of me. This is a really good test of my ear. You guys know I have no shame about slowing things down. Sometimes it's just fun to get started and see if you can force yourself to hear right. So let's slow it down and let's see if what I wrote down is actually correct. You know, something else that people ask me a lot is, Marcel, how do you slow down the YouTube videos? And if you find the settings wheel over here, if you're on a desktop, you should be able to click on that. You can get to playback speed and you can turn down the video to whatever you want. That's a great way to slow things down. This is one of the phrases that I called out, everything that he's doing over the C chord right now. Also, when I said in the beginning, I said, I think he started the break with an enclosure. That is indeed what this is. So the C and the B flat are on either side of this B note, which is the third of the G chord. So if that's the G chord, this note we call the third, one, three, five. And so to play this line, that surrounds the third. One thing you might do if you're going to start transcribing these is uh, start seeing if you can hear some of this filler stuff. Because I know when I was starting, these kinds of measures were the hardest for me to hear. And I'm not even sure I just got this one right. It definitely would have helped me more if I had worked on 
trying to hear this kind of language. So this phrase is is something that we covered before. I don't remember what break it was in. Maybe someone remembers in the comments. What Tony Rice break did I do that had this lick in it? So just like always, if you see anything weird, or you see anything that got a little bit incorrect, like maybe some of these hammer-ons and pull-offs, specifically I think this guy and I think this one, um, if those are a little incorrect or something funky's going on, don't worry. I go back and I clean all these up. This is, uh, you're watching the roughest thing possible. A good example is in the recent Transly transcription video I did. And I had everything off by an entire beat for most of the video. That was so embarrassing. What can you do, right? So this sounds like the octave thing. He likes to do that over five chords. This phrase has given me a little bit of a little bit of trouble. You know, you, you, you see something that you're just slightly not familiar with and you're like, oh, let me slow that down. What did Tony do? This is very strange. These notes, I think they're right, but it's it's interesting. That's what it sounds like. Right, something like this. So he He's going into a line like this. Da, da, do, da, da, do, do. Oh, I hope you like this, Tim. I hope I'm doing this justice. So I want to make sure I, I'm hearing this timing correctly because there's a weird syncopation here at the start of the line. At least I think there is. So this note lasts for a beat and a half, it sounds like. And then Tony's up here and he's ready to do this thing. It gets funky right here. Um, these are minor notes from a minor pentatonic scale, um, but he's starting with the sort of a flat fifth movement that's really interesting. There was a tune, um, there was a tune that we covered before. I think the video was Descending the Neck like Tony Rice, something like that. He did a very similar uh, phrase, but I don't remember what the song was. Um, once again, if someone remembers, man, you could post that and that would be super helpful. Okay, so after listening to that ending, it's something like this. And we're going to listen to it again. We're going to make sure that this is right. That this is the kind of line that it sounds like it's playing. So that sounds like it's picked. This sounds like it's slide. Sounds like he's hitting like something like that. Gotta add in all the pick strokes. How about, maybe let's do that right now. I'm not saying they'll be perfect or anything, but let's just get sort of a rough idea of what the pick strokes will be. Okay, good. Let's take a quick second and get some chords in there too. How about? All right, we're not doing this like old train again. We gotta get the last note right. <laughs> if you don't know that joke, you should go watch my old train video. The last note is just wrong for no reason. Same is true for another Tony Rice video. I don't remember what it is. Go ahead and play it through. Oh, what speed should we put it at? 
What do you say? 75? So I'm gonna take this and I'm actually gonna uh, run a macro real quick. Macro, take the wheel, take it from my hand. I don't know the rest of the words. All right, now we can go back to this Facebook post. There's some new comments. Better appreciate this, Tim. Spent an hour this morning doing this. Just for you, man. Me and, me and you, Tim. All right, and we type a little message, something like, here you go, Tim. The video of the transcription will be out Wednesday. <laughs> and post. Cool, so you can go to my website, LessonsWithMarcel.com, and you can get that tab for free. It'll be in the tab store. Please check that out. Definitely check out the merch store, too. And I'll see you all soon for a new video. Remember, new videos come out every Wednesday and every Friday, so I'll see you then.